Are you worried about eating foods that are not organic? Well, today, Michael and I are gonna go over some information on organic versus non-organic that Dr. Michael Clapper and Dr. Joel Furman have talked about that actually may shock you. And if you're looking for more information on plant-based diet, subscribe to our channel. I think a lot of times people don't start a whole food plant-based diet because overall they think it's very expensive. And the thing is that they either wanna go, they either want all or nothing. So if they're gonna go whole food plant-based, they're gonna want organic foods. And if they can't do the organic, you know, obviously when you go to the store, organic food is expensive. It is more expensive than the regular stuff. And so if you're in that mindset of, I'm only going to eat organic, whole food, plant-based diet, or if not, I'm just gonna throw it all away and I'm gonna go to McDonald's in the drive-thru and get a hamburger and french fries. The reality is that there are organic foods that you can still get that are inexpensive enough to eat. Things like rice, beans, lentils, and those are just the basics and they are very inexpensive that you can make on your own. However, if you cannot afford organic produce or you just simply can't find the organic produce at the store that you're going to, because that happens to us sometimes, I go to Costco and I can't always find organic produce or I'm going, for example, avocados. I can't find organic avocados at Costco, but I'm there at Costco and we eat so many avocados that we get them. And so why do we get them? Well, because Dr. Clapper and Dr. Furman both say that eating non-organic produce outweighs the small amount of pesticides that may be found on non-organic produce. Overall, what the doctors are saying is that it's not crucial to eat an organic diet, but it is crucial to eat a whole food plant-based diet. So the nutrients that you're getting from the fruits and vegetables are going to outweigh the negatives that come from the pesticides that they put on on your fruits and vegetables in the event that you can't afford to go get the organic stuff. Yes, however, Dr. Furman does say that there are groups such as young children or women who are pregnant that are more at risk of harmful effects from consuming chronic levels of pesticides. So with that in mind, being parents, we, do, we are careful about the organic products and non-organic product products that we purchase. So how do we do this? Well, there's two things that I look at. Number one, the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, posts a Dirty Dozen list and a Clean 15 list. The Dirty Dozen list includes the top 12 produce that after being tested was shown to have the most pesticides. Okay, so I'm gonna go through that list. Number one, strawberries. Two, spinach. Three, kale, collard, and mustard greens four nectarines, five apples, number six grapes. And then you wanna keep in mind that raisins come from grapes. So that also would be on that list. Seven cherries, number eight peaches, number nine pears, then bell and hot peppers, number 11 celery, number 12 the uh, tomatoes. So one of the things that I don't do is I do not purchase non-organic strawberries because it is number one on the list. So I either get frozen organic strawberries or organic strawberries. Number two, I look at the Clean 15 list. And so the Clean 15 list consists of avocados, sweet corn, pineapple, onions, papaya, sweet peas, frozen, eggplant, asparagus, broccoli, cabbage, kiwi, cauliflower, mushrooms, honeydew melon, and cantaloupe. So when I go to Costco or Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or whatever store I go to, if the items on the Clean 15 list are non-organic, I'm okay with purchasing non-organic um, produce that is on the Clean 15 list. The other thing I look at, because Dr. Clapper actually suggested this, was that if the produce has a peel on it, like avocado or banana, then that would be where you could go non-organic because it does have a peel on it uh, versus spinach or kale that does not have a peel. So those are the, the three things really that we look at when we're going to the store. So going back to the avocados that we purchased at Costco, well, number one, yes, they are non-organic, but 
They are on the Clean 15 list. In fact, it's number one on the Clean 15 list and it has a peel. So we feel comfortable purchasing the non-organic avocados from Costco. Comment below if you plan to purchase uh, non-organic or organic foods from here on out after seeing this video. And if you enjoyed the information provided in this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Now that you know that it's more important to eat a whole food plant-based diet than it is to focus on whether or not it's organic, you may be wondering, well, how do I go whole food plant-based? We actually have a link right here of the five crucial steps of how to start a plant-based diet.